Right, hi, this is the piece from yesterday and I haven't done any more embroidery on it and I wasn't here yesterday for most of the day. So what I thought I would do, well I was actually looking at that and thinking, feeding on from that, not necessarily to match that or to go on the same page as that, that led me to thinking about a little bit of paperwork. Now this is really tiny and it won't just live on its own, it, something else will happen to it. But um, it's inspired by this. But like I say, not necessarily, not definitely going to live on the same sheet as that. I'm just looking for my scissors, sorry. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little bit of that today on camera, basically, because I'm never in. I don't have any time to do any stitching. So what I've done is, I, just, I prefer a torn edge, so I've just torn a piece of paper out of my pad and at the moment it's got a bit of pin pricking on it that you'll see when I pull in shortly that's edged with little dashes of black fine liner just to define it and just to remind me of stitch marks really so if I okay you might be I hope you can see that there so what I'm going to do when I've got my ring back happiness um, if you don't know, I had an accident in France and trapped my hand in a door and it destroyed my ring and I had to send it away to get it fixed. Anyway, it's back and I'm happy. So I want to do some just straight stitches down there, but I'm thinking it might look nice to have some French knots in that um, pin pricked area. So just let me do a few stitches. What I'll do is I'll do a few stitches across the way, horizontal, so that this can then take shape. And hopefully this will in turn inspire something else. That's generally what happens with me, especially with the paperwork. I get ideas about how I can extend that. Perhaps make a bigger piece of paperwork, perhaps do something else on fabric. What I am thinking with this one is I might add some fabric to this. So it's not just paper. Um, so the next time you see it, it might have some cloth attached to it. So if I do down to where the pin pricking starts, say go across there, then I could start adding French knots. If I get down to the bottom of the pin pricking, I won't do all the way down with these straight stitches. If I do down to the pin pricking, then that'll define that centre section and it won't look like a mishmash of things and you won't be thinking what's going on there. Um, I can just put a couple of French knots in amongst those pin pricks just to see how that's going to look. But I think it's going to work. Um, but this actually needs a lot more work. You know, you need to see the bigger picture because it's far from finished. In fact, I want to do some doodling on it as well in a second. I'm going to go down to that one because I've got an area marked off here. I don't know if you can see it going across. There's a band marked with pencil going across there that I want to just do some little bits of doodling in, in a second. So I'm just going to go back up to there and put a couple of French knots in here just to see. I won't do loads, but just to get a sense of how that's going to enhance that, hopefully. Oops. So yeah, I'm thinking you might see fabric attached to this. Um, I'm tempted to add some of that striped silk. But if I do these little portfolio things, I want them all to be similar but different you know what I mean I don't want to really use the same fabric in a different sample that's going in the same portfolio don't ask me why well I don't know I might change my mind on that you know what I'm like I could well change my mind on that anyway we'll see when the, that silk would probably look really good attached to this um, in some way but equally this cloth that I put together myself would look good attached to it as well so I've got options and I've also got other fine like light fabrics light silks that would look good so there so that's how the French knots are going to look so if I just pull that through to the back 
I won't um, fasten it off because I can use that thread to finish that. So I just wanted to make some black marks in this thing going across here. Now what I'm thinking is, oh, initially I thought there's some really lovely flowers in this lace, but I haven't left myself enough room, it's very narrow. So really, French knots in a strip and web stitches in a line, this just lends itself to circles. So I'm just going to put some black circles in here, um, but not necessarily in a line. And I'll do some that are completely full and I'll do some open ones I'll try and do them randomly I'll try and do them randomly but with such a small narrow strip it's probably not going to be that easy but already I mean that's a minimal thing to do but I think it's lifting it. What do you think? It's definitely enhancing it. Even if this ends up in the bin. Which I don't think it will. Because I don't... I do think it's uh, there. So that was so quick and so easy. And what a difference just adding that has made. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that's going through my head at the moment. Um. I think just that added to it would be too heavy. Maybe a bit of bone. Like you see there with a bit of white in between that and the striped silk. Kind of works, doesn't it? So I'll be playing with this today and I'm trying to get my brain in gear to figure out what's going to be best to attach to this in terms of fabric. Okay.